looks really comfortable. Try it out. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's try this chair. Oh, surprisingly, it's not too bad. Let's see. Well, yeah. Well, welcome to North Platte, Nebraska. Got here, uh, I don't know, hour ago, half hour ago. Got set up. It's hot. It's 81 degrees or something like that here. We have shorts on. We have shorts on finally. So, um, yeah, we woke up this morning in Cocker City and our water hose was frozen. So, it got cold last night. I didn't expect that. So,. It's nice to be in 80 degree weather again. We were trying to decide whether or not do we head south again from here or just go ahead and take I-80 east or west and make it home. But it's cold still. <laughs> so it's supposed to snow in the next couple days so we're not sure where we're gonna go. But we're at the Holiday RV Park in North Platte. We're gonna hang out here for a couple days and, or a day or two, yeah. two days and uh, see what's around here. I seen that they had a Buffalo Bill Museum. So i sure like you, I'm excited for that. Um, we'll see how this goes. So stick around. Well, we're at the Buffalo Bill Museum and house branch and uh, bummer, they're uh, the house in the barn I guess is closed for the season so we'll just walk around and check out the grounds see what we can find man built in 1886 for $3,900 That looks really comfortable. Try it out. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's try this chair. Oh, surprisingly, it's not too bad. Nice grounds. What do you think of this? So this barn was built in 1887, 148 feet long, 70 feet wide, 40 feet tall. It required seven railroad cars of lumber for construction. Very big barn. Maybe 
this is where they got the idea for all the other barns we've seen to be red. Horse-powered grain grinder. up and grind these leaves. <laughs> this one's kind of old. The Cody North Cabin. Well, we are just two weeks too early before they open. I guess Jill should have called ahead, let them know we were coming. Could have got the VIP treatment. Well, especially knowing they'd be on our video. Yeah, well, I don't know what they were thinking. Alright, we got some buffalo up here. Do not tease us. I don't know who would ever tease a buffalo, Jill. I think this is how Buffalo Bill got his name. Because he had buffalo. Kind of lazy. After the Civil War, William F. Cody, with a rifle called Lucretia Borgia, put his sharpshooter skills to work as a bison hunter. His job was to supply meat to the workers constructing the Kansas Pacific Railway. In just 18 months, he provided them with 4,282 bison. A well-fed work crew gave him the nickname Buffalo Bill. So, I was right. This is how Buffalo Bill got his name. Pretty cool. Yeah, that one's a really big one. And the other one's got a little baby. Is that a baby? Well, it looks like it's kind of a smaller one behind the one. All right, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. Well, I uh, wish we could have seen inside the house and the barn. So next time we come back through North Platte, maybe we'll do that. So, Let's go. Inside the house. There's a few other little things around here that are unique to North Platte, Nebraska. So we're going to go check them out. So stick around. Someone's excited to go see the railroad yard. batting a thousand today on things that are open you know they have this uh, train display but it's also this would have been cool to see Baseball fields, softball complex, tennis courts, playground for the kids. Um, typical park. And 
Let's see what else we can find down here. Otherwise, I'm not sure where the next spot's gonna be. So stick around. On this side, we got the North Platte River. thing you should do in North Platte is. All right, we are here at the Golden Spike Tower and Visitor Center. get a good view of the train yard. Here's a picture of it. So trains come here as kind of a hub and then they uh, get moved around to their final destination. This is a working train yard. See all those engines. Wow. Out east has a whole bunch. Third out west. Dining cars. They well, ain't good. Yeah. Well, this gives you a comparison on size of these uh, locomotives. All right, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and we even we even got our uh, souvenir, Golden Spike Tower. Uh, train passes, <laughs> tickets. So, yeah, I actually learned a lot. I had no idea what was involved with trains. So. Yeah, it was very interesting. I'd highly recommend this. If you're ever in North Platte, it's a windy day, or even if it wasn't windy, swing by here and check it out. It's kind of cool how uh, the railroads, you know, shaped our nation. Yeah, and show them that, where we went up. So, yeah, we took the, we took the tower up there it's up eight stories and you can get a look out over that whole yard that we were showing you um yeah pretty cool yeah so, i liked it all right so let's see what's next on the things to do in north platte north platte <laughs> see, ya. see ya okay time for another state okay what is it we got nebraska we're done with that Right there, perfect. And then we're off to Colorado and we'll fill that one in. All right, we're done here in Nebraska. So, God, it's been windy constantly for we've got a week now straight Turn everywhere right we've been. East Drive. So, we are now off to Colorado. So, we'll see you there. See you.